Hey vinyl friends and vinyl community, it's Brian from Brian's Vinyl Records and today I'm going to take a look at some of my favorite 45s. The little black circles, yep, 7 inch singles, whatever you want to call them, they're kind of fun and they're very addicting to collect if you start going down that path. So stick with me and I'll show you some of my favorite 45s. All right, welcome back. So like I said, uh, 45s, cool little things, right? I remember as a kid growing up, I would collect sometimes cassette singles, right? Or cassingles, as some like to call them. Well, 45s are the same thing and the predecessor to those where a band would release songs, singles at a time, and sometimes they would come with a B-side that was not found on a normal album, a live track, or just a song from their catalog that they wanted to add on as an extra that wasn't meant to be a hit. There have been B-sides that have been more popular than A-sides on singles as well in the history. But either, either way, that said, singles are a fun thing. So singles can be very addicting as well. They're usually cheaper, a couple bucks, maybe a dollar, sometimes 50 cents, who knows. You can get them for a bargain price. They obviously come with a lot less songs than a regular album does. One, two, sometimes maybe three or four, depending on the single. So my story with singles starts with ACDC's Ball Breaker. Or sorry, not Ball Breaker, Rocker Bust. Uh, a buddy of mine is a huge ACDC fan. And when Rocker Bust came out back in, oh gosh, it must have been 2014 now, 15, I can't even remember. Um, when that first came out, this single was released ahead of the album, and my buddy, he's a major ACDC collector, wanted to get a copy of the single. His local stores didn't carry it, but he found out that one near me did. So he asked me to go to that store and pick up this single for him. So I did. I wasn't collecting a lot at the time, but um, I decided to pick up a copy for myself. So this is, as you can see, still sealed. Um, and haven't opened it because the album came out shortly after I picked this up and I just listened to the album. This contains Rock or Bust and the song Play Ball. The first two songs released from that album. Play Ball, of course, was used by Major League Baseball for their preseason uh, leading into 2014 MLB season. So pretty cool there. So this is the first one I ever bought. Then what happened was I came into a few singles um, via a buddy who called me up and said, hey, my dad has a ton of 45s sitting around. They're probably not in the best shape, but if you want them, you can have them. He was a DJ, so these were from his DJ collection. So a lot of them were really beat up. Some of them had covers, some of them didn't. Uh, they were just stacks and stacks of 45s. He had them organized into decades and type of music that they were, so they're easy to go through. So I went and picked them up and came home with boxes of 45s. Well, I whittled them all down to based on condition of the uh, vinyl record and also um, whether I wanted to have it, songs, whatever, genres, all that stuff. I whittled it down and my collection grew from one to approximately a hundred in that little short span of time. Since that time, I have slowly added singles here and there because I just think they're kind of cool and in certain cases, such as more recently, Taylor Swift putting out singles for her new song, Me, on limited edition vinyl singles, I jumped at the opportunity at that. So she put out a whole bunch of different ones. There were, I believe, four different versions of the Me single. Uh, I have two of them here, version two and four. And then also this was a live rehearsal for the Billboard Music Awards that she allowed people to order for I think a window of 48 hours so I picked up that as well so kind of cool little singles there so let's go through and show you some of my favorites or highlights that I think in my singles collection 
This one is a major highlight. This is Prince's Rock and Roll is Alive and Lives in Minneapolis. So what's so cool about this is this little sticker right here. This is the Minnesota Timberwolves logo. So this was part of the Prince, Prince days that they had throughout all the major sports here in Minnesota last year. And the last one that they did in the Timberwolves situation was they had a Prince night that gave away 10,000 copies of this little single here, which contains Rock and Rolls Alive and Lives in Minneapolis and the song Calhoun Square. Now, uh, that was the only way to get this single was to attend the game. And a buddy of my son's, he, he went with his folks to this game. And so they picked up, I think, four copies of this and decided to give one to me, which was really cool. So this is pretty fun. Um, you know, it's obviously fun to get anything that's rare like that. Um, and Prince, of course, being from just down the road where I, I live, was kind of cool to get this as well. So that's a highlight for me. Keeping on the ACDC train, this one's a highlight because this is the Money Talks single. I don't know if it'll get very good here, but Money Talks. And uh, what's cool about this is it comes with a song that wasn't released on any of the albums called Borrowed Time. That is the B-side. Now, I remember having this in the jukebox at our local bowling alley, and I'd always would put on the Borrowed Time song because it was the only way I could hear it back then when I was growing up. So it's really fun to have this one on single as well then we've got acdc's let's get it up which i think is a great tune from the for those about to rock album it has snowballed as the the b-side so that's really fun this one's cool this is a record store day release that came out uh gosh it must have been 2015 or 16 maybe this is Alice in Chains. There's two singles in one, so it's like a dual pack of singles. It's got What the Hell Have I, and then Get Born Again singles included in one little package. So that was pretty fun to pick up. Sadly, this is the only Beatles single I have. This is Day Tripper with the B-side, We Can Work It Out, which I thought was really cool. Or maybe that's the A-side. I can't even remember now. Either way, this I think, actually, you know, I think this was considered a double A side when they released it. So that's my only Beatles single, which is sad, but it is what it is. Here's Cinderella. Don't know what you got until it's gone. Great tune. And on the B side is Fire and Ice. Alice Cooper. Poison. Great tune off the Trash album. And the B-side on this is the title track, Trash. I love this one. This is Cutting Cruise, I Just Died in Your Arms Tonight. How cool is that? So that's really fun. I think the B-side on this is For the Longest Time. One of my favorites that I just wish I could get the albums on on vinyl for but they're so expensive i'm really hoping someday we'll get some reissues for them but this is uh firehouse this is the single don't treat me bad and the b-side is overnight sensation these are probably showing up backwards i realize too which kind of sucks but it's still kind of cool love of a lifetime by firehouse with the back all she wrote both of these became uh hits for firehouse so Almost like a double single there. Lita Ford, Kiss Me Deadly. Great White, Rock Me. Great tune. Ah, this one, yes. Guns N' Roses, Shadow of Your Love. So this was a Record Store Day release on Black Friday last year. And what happened with this one is really cool. So I, I bought this single. Uh, brought it home, and when I went to play it, all I heard was a bunch of thump, 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 thump as it was trying to play. And I thought, what the heck is going on? So I pulled it off the turntable, and I pulled, I looked at the vinyl and felt it, and all along the vinyl itself were all these bumps. It was like at the manufacturing plant, something spilled on the record as it was being 
pressed and it bumped into everything. So I called Mill City Sound, which is where I bought the uh, album, and I told them what happened. They said to bring it in and they would go ahead and replace it. So they did. I brought this home, put it on the turntable immediately, and this one is perfect. Really cool, kind of a red vinyl. Guns N' Roses, Shadow Your Love. Really awesome song that was never released on an album. Michael Jackson, you know, my, I love Michael Jackson. This is Beat It and Get On The Floor is the B-side. Michael Jackson, She's Out Of My Life. And also, Get On The Floor is the B-side. So that's kind of interesting. John Lennon, I have a woman with Beautiful Boys on the B-side. And I have Watching the Wheels, one of my favorites of his. And that's got Yes, I'm Your Angel on the B-side. Who doesn't like a little Jack and Diane from John Cougar? Can You Take It is the B-side. One of my favorite songs, Mike and the Mechanics, Living Years. I love, love, love this song. It's got Too Many Friends as the B-side. This one, I believe, is another uh, record store day re uh, release. This is Pearl Jam's State of Love and Trust with Breath as the B-side. Really good tunes. And then also they released all the Yield singles, and I got this one on an Amazon warehouse deal for, uh, I think, two bucks. So this is Pearl Jam's Given to Fly. Uh, B-side on this one is Pilot. Uh, Pilate, Pilate and Leatherman. All right, now we're going to get into one of my favorites. This is Poison. We've got Every Rose Has Its Thorn, and the cool part about this is the B-side is a song that didn't make the album, Living for the Minute. So that's an outtake track from Open Up and Say Ah. We've got Fallen Angel, B-side, Bad to be Good. We have Your Mama Don't Dance with the B-side of Look What the Cat Dragged In. We have Nothing But a Good Time with the B-side of Look But You Can't Touch. I Want Action. B-side, Play Dirty. Unskinny Bop. B-side, Valley of Lost Souls. This also has Swamp Juice on it, which I thought was interesting. And we've got Talk Dirty to Me with the B-side, Want Some, Need Some. And probably my favorite of the whole Poison Bunch is Until You Suffer Some. Fire and Ice from the Native Ton album with the uh, opposite side having Stand on it, which both great songs from that album, but the cool part, how cool is that vinyl? Blue vinyl. Love it. I'm from Minnesota, so that means we got to have some of this, right? Prince and the Revolution, When Doves Cry. I got to love that song. And... Um, 17 Days is the, the B-side on that one. Then, of course, you've got Let's Go Crazy with Electrocity as the B-side. And the, cool, the coolest of them all has to be this one. This is Purple Rain on purple single vinyl. So that's really cool. My favorite Ario song right here, In Dreams. We've got, this is a classic, Simply Red's If You Don't Know Me By Now. And on the B side is Moving On Out. And keep that hairband thing going. Slaughter, Fly to the Angels. The B side is Desperately. Almost done here. Ugly Kid Joe, Everything About You. Clean edit. Warrant, Heaven. 
and in the sticks. Warrant Miss Blind Faith, which is a great tune off of Cherry Pie, and Mr. Rainmaker. Warrant I Saw Red and I Saw Red Acoustic, which is kind of cool. Warrant Sometimes She Cries with 32 pennies. How about this one? White Snake. This is uh, Here We Go Again. And let's see. B-side is Children of the Night. And last, but certainly not least, who couldn't go wrong with a little Winger 17. B-side Poison Angel. So there you go, those are some of the highlights of my stack of 45s here. This is what I got. There's about 110 or so in this little container here that I have. That's how I display my 45s. And uh, yeah, I'm always looking. It's, I, there's so many 45s, it's hard to go through and look through them all, especially at my local store, Mill City Sound. They have a ton of 45s there. They have boxes and boxes on shelves of 45s alphabetized, and they also have a whole bunch laid out alphabetized in the store itself. So flipping through, if I have a couple hours to spend, I'll flip through some 45s, but most of the time I only look for what I really want and then move on instead of thumbing through everything. I'm sure I could find a whole bunch of really cool stuff there. But that's my 45 collection, the, the highlights of my 45 collection. There's a whole bunch of stuff in here. It's always fun every once in a while to just bust out a few singles and just listen to some great tunes one after the other. And that's what I tend to do um, from time to time on weekends. I'll, I'll bust out some of the highlights that I have in here, especially if I don't have the actual full length album of those songs. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video on 45s. Uh, let me know what are some of your favorite 45s that you have in your collection are in the comment section below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you like this as well. Uh, thank you for watching. And until next time, keep spinning vinyl friends.